Hey, what's up, guys? Good to be back with you again. We have the Red Sox of the Highlanders here, and um, I'll show you this once again in case you've forgotten. Red Sox, game and a half out of first place, have lost two in a row. The Highlanders now two games out of first place um, and have won won their last one, which I think was against Boston. Um, that's the reason why we're seeing these games, because it's so tight here in the American League here in 1908. Doc Essler will uh, lead this one off, and he rolls a 56 for a 34. Little E roll comes up and ends up being a, uh, an 11, which means there will be an error on this play. 22 is what the number is. That means it's an error on the pitcher, Joe Lake. That'll put Gessler over there on first base. And here comes Bob Unglaub. Bob Unglaub comes up there. And uh, the question is, uh, do we put a play on with uh, Gessler or not? And I have to go up here and take a look. And he does have that 11, so we will. Put a hit and run on, and the rule is a 21 for a 30. That's a fly ball to left field. Stahl has it for the out one away. Amby McConnell now. He rolls a 31 for a 9, and that's a single. Beats out the infield hit, and that sends Gessler to second base. Here comes Heine Wagner now. Runners on first and second, only one out, top of the first. And Wagner rolls an 11 for a 0, and his next roll is a 43 for an 8, and that's a single that will score 1, move McConnell up to second base. So with one out, it's one nothing here Boston, and here comes Denny Sullivan. Sullivan rolls a 63 for a 30. It's a fly ball over to Stahl in left field. Jake has it for the out, 2 away, and here comes Gabby Kravitz. He rolls a 23 for a 32. It's a fly ball over to right field. Keeler has it for the out. We go to the bottom of the first. Charlie Hempel up there now. Rolls a 54 for a 45. And there comes that little E roll. It's a 51 out of the range. It's a fly ball over to right field. And uh, Gessler has it for the out. Went away. Willie Keeler up there now. Rolls a 65 for a 35. It's a little pop-up over to uh, behind third base. Lord has it for the out. Two away. Jake Stahl. Rolls a 46 for a 32. It's a fly ball to Gessler again. We go to the top of the second. One nothing still. And here's Harry Lord. He rolls a 16 for a 26. That's a ground ball to Niles, a second base, and throws to first for the out. One away. Bill Kerrigan up there now. Bill rolls a 36 for a 33, and that's a pop-up over to uh, second base, and it will be uh, Niles who has it for the out. Two away, and here comes Eddie Seacott. Seacott rolls a 22 for a 7. There's a single to right field, and that'll bring up Doc Gessler, runner on first base, hit number 3 for the Red Sox. Gessler rolls a 53 for a 16. That's changed to 19, and that's going to end up being a single to through third base. Seacob moves up to second. So runners on at first and second now for Bob Unglaub, top of the second inning. Bob rolls a 36 for a 32. It's a fly ball over to right field. Keeler's got it for the out. We go to the bottom of the second. Here's Neil Ball. The uh, rolls a 66 for a zero. And next roll is a 61 for a 6. That's going to be a double to right center for ball for the first hit of the game for the Highlanders. I'm guessing that was a knuckler that didn't knuckle quite right. Harry Niles up there now, and we'll let him swing away. He rolls a 25 for a 10. That's a single, an infield hit, sends ball over to third base, and here comes Hal Chase. The infield will come in, and uh, Chase will swing away. I think we're going to let him swing away here. His roll is a 25, and that's going to be an 11. That's a single that scores once, sends Niles up to second base. Here comes Walter Blair now. Rare time where you don't where you see the 11 not wind up being a uh, stolen base. Walter Blair up there now rolls a 55 for an 8, and that's going to be another single, scoring one, sending Chase up to second. 2-1 to one now, Highlanders, and it's Wid Conroy. Conroy rolls a 42 for a 39. There's a little fly ball over to right field. Gessler has it for the out, but Chase able to move over to third base. This will bring up Joe Lake. Infield comes in, and uh, we're going to do a little bit of suicide squeezing here with the pitcher. And the roll is a 43 for a 29, which is a foul strike, and we will do it all again. And uh, the next roll is a 14 for a 43, and that's probably what the Highlanders wanted. Little E rolls a 52. It's out of range, and so there's a little bunt down to the right side. Unglaub has it, flips over to McConnell, covering at the first base bag for the out. 3-1 to one now the lead, and here comes Charlie Hempel with two outs runner on second now. Hempel rolls a 25 for an 11. That's a single, and uh, that will uh, score the run, and Hempel ends up with a stolen base. Seacott, just like that, is a D, and here's Wee Willie Keeler. Rolls a 65 for a 35, and there's a little E. And the rolls a 64, and that's a little foul ball. Caught by Lord, the third baseman, for the out. We go to the top of the third. Four to one now, Highlanders. And since it's 1908, that may be an insurmountable lead. Abby McConnell now. Amby, sorry, rolls a 43 for a 29. That's a comebacker to Joe Lake. Throws the first for the out, one away. Heine Wagner rolls a 36 for a 33. Little E roll comes up, and it's going to be a 22, and that's within the range. That means that's going to be changed to an air on the shortstop, Neil Ball. Wagner on at first base. We'll do some hit and run with Danny Sullivan up on, up there. His roll is a 62 for a 12, and that gets him out of the double play. That's a ground ball over to Niles. Has to play to the first base for the out. Two away, and here's Gabby Kravath. He rolls a 33 for a 0, and the next roll is a 56 for a 6, and there is a chance at a home run here. 
and first rolls a 42, which is out of the range, so it ends up being a six for a double. Kravis scores a run, is now four to two for New York, and here is Harry Lord. Lord rolls a 55 for an eight, and there's a single, and uh, that will score the run, make it a four to three ball game, but Lord is then thrown out trying to steal. We go to the bottom of the third, and here comes Jake Stahl, four to three Highlanders. Stahl rolls a 33 for a zero, and boy, the dice are hot today. 31 next for a two for a triple over to uh, left center field, and here comes Neil Ball. I don't think Seacott's going to last long. Not knuckling today. Neil Ball rolls a 63 for a 31. Fly ball over to Sullivan, but not quite deep enough to do anything. One out, and here's Harry Niles. Rolls a 43 for a 29. It's a comebacker to Seacott. Throws the first for the out, two away, and here's Hal Chase. And Chase rolls a 34. There is a little E roll, 34 for a 44. A little E roll is a 45. That's a fly ball over there to Sullivan in center field for the out. We go to the top of the fourth inning. Wow, Eddie able to get out of that one. And um, here is Bill Kerrigan. Kerrigan rolls a 26 for a 30. It's a fly ball over to Stahl in left field for the first out. And here comes Seacott again. He rolls a 23 for a 32. It's a fly ball over to right field. We Willie Keeler has it for the out too. Wayne is Doc Gessler who rolls a 55 for an eight. And that's a single, but he's then caught stealing. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Watch out for that little C. Walter Blair up there now, and he rolls a 62 for a 12. That's a little ground ball over to Unglaub. The first baseman does it to the bag himself. One away. Wood Conroy rolls a 16 for a 26. That's a ground ball over to McConnell. Makes the play, throws to first for the out. Two out, and here's Joe Lake. Lake rolls a 65 for a 35, but there is a little E roll, and it's a 15 within the range. It's going to be changed to 19. That'll be an air on Lord, the third baseman, and here comes Charlie Hemphill, runner on first base for him now. Rolls a 51 for an eight, and that's going to be a single and will be a uh, little C for a caught stealing that will end that inning. We go to the top of the fifth inning, four to three Highlanders. This is a close game. Bob Unglob up there now rolls a 34 for a 44, and uh, there's a possible error. It's a 63 is the next roll, and that's a, a fly ball over to Hempel in center field for the first out. They'll bring up Amby McConnell now. One out, top of the fifth. The roll is a 66 for a zero. Next roll is a 52 for an eight, and that's a base hit over the left center field. That'll bring up Heine Wagner now. Hit number eight for the Red Sox. Wagner up there will just swing away. Rolls a 42 for a 23, changed to a 39, and that is a uh, caught stealing on uh, McConnell. Two away now. Wagner still up there. He rolls a 32 for a 26, and that's a ground ball over to Niles, the second baseman. Throws the first for the out. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Willie Keeler rolls an 11 for a seven, and there's a base hit. Hit number eight for the Highlanders, and here comes Jake Stahl. Stahl rolls a 43 for a 29, come back to Seacott, throws to first for the out. Keeler moves up to second, one away for Neil Ball. Roll is a 32 for a 26, and there's a ground ball over to McConnell, the second baseman, who throws to first for the out, two away. And here's Harry Niles. Niles rolls a 55 for a 9. That will be a single to score the runner, but uh, he's still not trying for second base. We go to the top of the sixth inning, just like that, 5-3 to three Highlanders. Denny Sullivan up there for the Red Sox, rolls a 15 for an 11, and that's a single and a steal of second base. And here comes Gabby Kravath. We're going to let him hit away. I'm usually looking at that on-base percentage to see what kind of chance there is. We'll let him hit away this time. The rolls a 53 for a 17, changed an 18. That is going to be a ground ball over the ball, and he uh, boots it, and that will be uh, uh, Gabby Kravath will uh, reach first base, and here comes Harry Lord. And now I think it's time to bunt. Nobody outrunners first and second. Here comes the bunt, and the rolls a 24 for a 13. It's a foul strike. Thank goodness nothing worse happened. Next roll is there, and it's a 15 for an 11, and that's a single that beats out the bunt for Lord, and that will load the bases. Bill Kerrigan up there now. And uh, Sullivan is not very fast, but does have that 11. Um, trying to think of what to do. The infield does come in. I think we're going to swing away here with Kerrigan. See what happens. And the roll is a 21 for a 30, and that's a fly ball to left field. All the runners have to ho hold. We probably should have bunted. I'll bring up Seacod, and let's see if we have a potential pinch hitter for him. I know it's early. But it feels a little bit late. Deacon, I'm sorry, uh, who am I looking for? Frank Laporte. Frank Laporte is going to be the pinch hitter here for Seacott, who has not pitched very well so far today. Ten hits, by the way, for the Red Sox so far in this one. Doesn't feel like 1908, does it? Frank Laporte, the pinch hitter, he rolls a 44 for an 8, and that's going to be a single that will score two and make this a 5-5 five to five ball game, send Lord over to third base. So runners on at first and third now for Doc Gessler, and my gamble paid off. Runner one out. Gessler up there, rolls a 21 for a 32. Fly ball over to right field. Keeler has it for the out. Not deep enough to score the runner. Two away, and here's Bob Unglaub. And it rolls a 16 for a 28. That's going to be a little ground ball over to Ball, and he flips over to Niles for the out at second base. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. It'll be Hal Chase to lead things off, and we need to uh, get a pitcher in there. And uh, let's see who we're going to uh, choose. Uh, let's see here. 
I always look. I don't know what you do. I always look over here at the game started totals. I think we're going to go with uh, this guy, uh, Tex Pruett, who um, I think actually was probably not on the roster, if I remember right from the Red Sox newspapers. It's hard to uh, get full transactions before the season starts. I mean, it takes hours. So, uh, yeah. Here is Hell Chase, and he rolls a 22 for an 8, and that's a... Uh, Let's see, that's a ground ball and over to uh, Wagner, the shortstop, who throws the first for the out, one away. Pruitt's, um, his uh, grade dropped right afterwards, and that's the thing that had me confused. One away, here's Walter Blair. Blair rolls a 36 for a 33, and here is the little E roll. It's a 33 out of the range. That's a little pop-up over to the second baseman. Uh, McConnell has it for the out, two away, and here's Wood Conroy. And the rolls a 34 for a 44. A little E roll comes up again. That's going to be a 52 for a, uh, which is out of the range. That'll be a fly ball over to center field, and it is Sullivan who has it for the out. We go to the top of the second. Here is Amby McConnell, and he rolls a, sorry, a 13 for a 14, and he takes his base. That's the first walk given up by Joe Lake, who's also given up 11 hits. Runner on at first base here for Heine Wagner. McConnell is fast. Let's hit and run. And uh, the rule is a 63 for a 31. That'll be a base hit, sending McConnell to third. And that's that magic of the hit and run. We're going to do it again here with Denny Sullivan coming up. Let's see uh, what can happen. And the rule here is a 14 for a 43. And that's a fly ball over to left field. Stahl has it for the out one away. That'll bring up Gabby Kravath. Let's try the hit and run one more time. And his rule is a 24 for a 13. And that's going to be a uh, strike him out, throw him out. And that's what happens when you try a little bit too much. Kravath strikes out, and uh, the uh, runner Wagner is thrown out trying to steal second despite his many um, 11s. We're going to the bottom of the seventh inning now, and I think that the Highlanders are going to make their uh, substitution here as well. George Moritari is going to be the pinch hitter. Five to five ball game, bottom of the seventh, and he rolls a 43 for a 29. It's a comeback over to Pruett, who makes the play, throws the first for the out, one away. Charlie Hemphill up there now, and he rolls a 43 for a 29. Same play, and there's two outs now for Wee Willie Keeler. Rolls a 16 for a 26. That's going to be a ground ball over to McConnell at second base. Makes the play and throws the first for the out. And we'll go to the top of the eighth inning, and uh, let's see who we're going to put in to, pin, to uh, pitch. Let's see what we've got here. Slow Joe Doyle, I believe, is going to end up being the pitcher here for the Highlanders as uh, Harry Lord comes up to greet him. The uh, first roll is a 13 for a 39. Change to a 37. That's just going to be a strike. Next roll is a 25 for a 10, and that's a base hit to uh, – Center field by Lord, and that'll bring up Bill Kerrigan, who, of course, is going to bunt. The bunt comes down. It's a 23 for a 32. That's a little bunt to the left side, and it's the uh, third baseman, Conroy, who makes the play. Throws over to first for the out. One away, and here's Tex Pruitt. And I hate to say it, he's pitched well, but we're going to have to take him out because um, we don't want to give up this chance. Jim McHale is going to be the uh, pinch hitter. And the rule for McHale is a 56 for a 34 is a high pop-up uh, over to Niles, the second baseman. There's two away, and here comes Doc Gessler. Gessler rolls a 15 for an 11. That's a single that will score the runner, and uh, he ends up on that second base after the stolen base. Bob Unglaub up there now. 14 hits for the Red Sox in this one, and Unglaub rolls a 64 for a 13 and strikes out. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. New pitcher will come in here and is probably going to be... Fred Burchell is going to be the new pitcher here for the Red Sox here for the bottom of the eighth inning. He will pitch against uh, Jake Stahl here to lead this off, and Stahl rolls a 16 for a 28. That's a little ground ball over to Wagner. It's shortstop. There was the first for the out, one away. Now it's Neil Ball, who rolls a 41 for a 28. Same play, shortstop the first, two outs, and here's Harry Niles. And his roll is a 24 for a 13, and that'll do it. We go to the top of the ninth inning, and here is Amby McConnell. Six to five, now Red Sox with the lead. And his first roll is a 62 for a 12. There is a little E possibility. It's going to be a 51, which is out of the range. That means it's a little ground ball over to Chase. The uh, first baseman who takes it to the bag himself went away. Tiny Wagner up there now. Wagner rolls a 25 for an 8, and there's a single to left center field. Hit number 15 for Boston, and here comes Denny Sullivan. And Sullivan rolls a 42 for a 13 and strikes out two away, and it's going to be Gra Gavi Kravath. And uh, he rolls a 41 for a 28. There's a little ground ball over to ball at shortstop. Makes the play and throws the first for the out. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Hal Chase will lead this off. Chase rolls a 62 for a 12, but there is that little E roll. And it's going to be a 55 out of the range. That's a little ground ball over to Unglau. But first, does it to the bag himself. One away. Walter Blair now rolls a 16 for a 26. There's a ground ball over to McConnell at second. Throws the first for the out. Two away. Wade Conroy, the last chance for the Highlanders, and he rolls a 22 for an 8. That's going to be a base hit to left center field. 
And so there is a chance, and uh, we're not quite dead yet. And uh, let's see if we have a better hitter out here than uh, Slow Joe Doyle. And I think it's going to be Kid El El Elberfeld. Yes, Kid Elberfeld is going to be up there to hit. Conroy on a first base, two outs, bomb in the ninth inning. Pressure-filled moment. And the rolls of 52 for a 27. This little ground ball over to third base is going to be uh, Lord making the play, throwing to first for the out. And that does it. The Red Sox are able to come back after giving up four in the bottom of the second inning to win this one, six to five, 25 hits total in this game. Uh, a lot of offense in this one, surprising for 1908, I know. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll talk with you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.